And it was the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me. When I accepted Christ to be my personal savior, December 21st, 2014, was doing the Living Exchange. It changed my life. But I felt like I wanted to be saved more out of fear and not really accepting Christ as my personal Savior and following Him. I know He was, but I never really took it more personal. Um, I became very selfish, um, prideful, and I started living my own life. And I began to search my life and in other places. And, you know, it turned out that I felt really empty inside. And, you know, the pastor was talking about, he was talking about the discipleship and exchange. And I thought this was a great opportunity to get closer to Christ. And I would think, I said, you know, how do I get more involved? How do I, how do I read up about the exchange, you know? And I walk into the hallway. And I happened to see Mrs. Regner, and I was thinking, you know what, maybe she would know where I can find the Bible study, the Living Exchange um, workbooks. So I came up to her and I asked her, Mrs. Regner, do you know anything about the Living Exchange? You know, where can I find these um, books? You have an idea in your head. You have a plan, but God knows better. God has a plan for you, and it may not be what you imagine, but God always knows best. And how this was such a great opportunity, how God aligned these days off. You know, I could have spent time with my father, but God knew that this was the right time for me to develop my personal relationship with him. I had this thirst for Christ that I never had growing up. And this desire, it was like some kind of truth that I spiritually longed for. I attended the exchange seminar with Jeff and Anna Musgrave. Um, it was exciting again to go through, you know, how, how to share your faith with another person. And they challenged us near the end of the seminar to try to share the material we've been studying with at least one person within the next month. And I thought, oh my, it's, you know, Christmas is coming, it's so busy, and I spend so much of my time teaching at Christian school and involved with church ministries. How am I gonna find somebody <laughs> right now to do this with? And uh, I was just begging God that he would open the door because I really wanted to follow through with the, this um, commitment I had made to take up the challenge. And I wanted to be used of him. And as a result of you know, his grace to me, really, he just brought Julie my way. She, just, she was just there at church and she was wondering how she could find out more about the exchange. And um, so I just immediately invited her to do it you know, with me. And uh, she was so hungry, so thirsty for the things of God that we finished the study in just a few days of time. And what a joy it was to see her come to Christ and be sure of her salvation. There's really no more satisfying thing that a person can be involved with. weeks ago, that was uh, doing that Inquirer's Bible study with Cindy Rayner. Julie, in obedience to our Lord's command and upon your public profession of Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, buried with him in the likeness of his death. Raised with him to newness of life. Amen. All God's people said, Amen. Amen.